Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. I hope you're all doing very well these days. In recent news here in the UK, there's been a lot of reports about our police. Our police are known to be one of the most professional and best in the world. Because of our laws on democracy, our police are not allowed to approach you directly to ask for ID or to ask who you are unless they suspect you of a crime. Generally, the feeling here about police is that we trust them and we like them. They make us feel safe. But over the last few years, there's been an increasing number of police officers who have been abusing their trust. And as a result, people perhaps don't feel quite as safe with them because it's becoming apparent that some of them have problems. There's been a few murders which have been committed by police And the latest report that I've had is the police generally tell us to be very vigilant and careful and make sure we ask policemen for ID. We don't have to be suspicious of them, but we should be very careful. Policemen in the UK and policewomen usually go around in twos. It's very, very unusual to see one policeman. It does happen, but it's more unusual. So they've told us if one policeman comes to you and asks you anything or tells you that you have to go with him because there's some problem around the corner or something like this, then you should tell him that you will call 101, that's the generic number for the police, just to check on who he is and also to ask if he's on duty. This is what you should do, okay? So if you meet one policeman who's alone and he's telling you to get into his car or he's in any way acting suspiciously or he's trying to persuade you to do something, you should tell him, show me your ID, please. Thank you very much. Your name is what? I'm just going to call 101 to check to make sure you are who you say you are. Of course, uh, if you're in a dark alleyway or a darkened place, if you have a telephone with you, you should immediately use it or you should try to get yourself out of that situation. If you have a personal alarm with you, or someone is there with you, you should definitely uh, make some noises to ensure that people around you can help. So just because it's a policeman doesn't mean that he is honest or trustworthy. We've had this before here in the UK, There's been a number of different professions which in the past we've always thought were safe and upright only to discover that that's not the case. Unfortunately, there's been a number of these. So it's important that you keep yourself safe. So a policeman comes to you, he asks you anything and it seems weird because it's in the dark or in a kind of lonely place you know what you have to do there. I must point out, though, that generally speaking, our police officers are very, very trustworthy. If you find two of them on the street and you're lost, they will help you. I remember when I lived in Spain, I was completely lost one day and was a little bit afraid. And I asked a police woman, excuse me, can you tell me where this hotel is? And her answer was, don't know. And she walked away. It was very, very odd. But uh, I'm pleased to say that that's not the case now here in the UK. That's it from me. See you all soon. Bye.